In today's episode, we almost caught the mattress thief. I work here, not you. Customer upset because I brought out figure skates instead of hockey skates. No, I can't tell them you're old enough. No, he's banned from Fortnite. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. We almost caught the mattress thief. To preface, I work for a chain that could be compared to food and stuff from Parks and Rec, we mostly sell food, but have an aisle dedicated to non-food special items that come in once and are gone when they sell out. One such item we're carrying until it goes, king and queen-sized mattresses in a box. A month or so back, we had a lady come in, put a boxed mattress in her cart, go around the store a few times, and come up to try to return it. The problem was, she didn't have a receipt for it. My co-worker immediately sees this as a red flag and calls for a manager, who comes up, meets the lady, and then goes into the office to look up any recent mattress transactions, while she's gone doing that, the lady hightails it with the $289 queen mattress. Unfortunately, the cameras did not get a good look at her face. Cut to today, I'm cashiering, and my customer wants to return an unopened set of child sheets because she needs cash for diapers, but she doesn't have a slip. I had this exact same lady yesterday returning laundry detergent for food, and I felt really bad for her, but something didn't sit right. I told her I'd have to talk to a manager, thankfully I did not have my name tag on, indicating that I'm a manager, and radioed for an assistant store leader. In the meantime, I grabbed the sheets from her, and while she stood away so I could take care of the next customer, I scribbled a note saying, mattress lady? Ask, other manager who saw her, and when she came up, handed her the note on top of the sheets and verbally asked if we could do returns without a slip, we do normally, to which she radioed, other manager, for a key to do the return because she forgot hers, showed her the note, and had her confirm that this was mattress lady, and they went into the office to call the police, but unfortunately, the lady dipped almost immediately once they went into the office. She knows she's been got, so I'd be really surprised if she shows up again, but at least everybody has gotten a good look at her now, she's a very pretty girl in an unconventional way, so we definitely know who she is now, in case she does. I should have cut straight to the chase and radioed the one manager who'd seen her before, but I forgot about her knowing her face until right as I wrote the note, lol. The time and suspicion we'd have saved, we probably could have gotten her. I work here, not you. So I work in what could be described as a discount variety slash department store. We sell a range of things at relatively low prices, including various kitchen appliances. During this particular interaction I was on the floor and took a PA call for customer assistance to the appliances section. Here we have a top shelf with each appliance unpacked and a lower shelf with the boxed stock. Customer, do you have the box for this display air fryer? I want to see how it works. Me, I'm not sure, I'll have a look for you. I begin by looking at all the boxes on the shelf just to check the display is the last one, and also that the box isn't there. See, it's the last one, the box is out the back. Me, I see that, I'm just checking. I'll go look out the back for you. She was rude from the get-go, a weirdly demanding tone, and seemed super impatient. So I head out the back to our stockroom. It's a mess out there, and I can't see the box where it should be with all the others. I go and ask our shift runner, who was on her break, sorry Jordy, if she knows. She says it should be with the others and decides to call our assistant manager, on her day off, sorry Donna, who finally says if it's not there then it got thrown out. Great. I head back out on the floor. Me, so I had a look. It's not out there and likely got thrown out, sorry. We can still sell it to you, potentially at a discounted price. See, while well I need to see the instructions, it's definitely out there. At this point I was already annoyed by her and the bunch of other frustrating things about our stupid store, so I may have forgotten my retail worker etiquette. Me, N.O., I work here, I've looked, it's not there. I'll get the manager to sort this out for you. 
I storm up to the register to do a PA call for our shift runner. At this point she takes over and basically goes through the exact same saga as I just did. Now I'm standing behind the lady while she and her friends talk to the shift runner. See, condescendingly, but if I don't have the box how will I have my warranty? Shift runner, you have a 12-month warranty on any product purchased from our store. Me, as long as you have the receipt, will honor the warranty. C. Turning around to point her finger in my face, excuse me, but if you want to talk to me, you can apologize for how you spoke to me earlier. Me, no. At that I walked back to the register to take an assistance call from the cashier. The lady did not buy an air fryer but apparently came back a week later to return a different one her daughter gave her for Christmas. I've also gotten wind that apparently someone wants to file a formal complaint against me. I'm not worried, I have a fantastic track record and the shift runner said she'd back me up. She actually thought it was quite amusing and couldn't believe I had the balls. Maybe I'm too stubborn for customer service. Customer upset because I brought out figure skates instead of hockey skates. Customer comes into store to exchange a pair of casual ice skates. Casual skates being skates that aren't hockey specific or figure skating specific. They drop them on the desk and asks to see a size smaller, they seemed annoyed. I go to the back and let them know that we don't have the same skate they wanted, instead I brought them a similar skate in a woman size 7, the casual skates have woman and men size runs. They try them and tell me they want a size up from the woman size 7. They never tell me they prefer hockey skates to figure skates, so I bring them figure skates as they are already labeled with woman sizes, making it easier to get a size up from the woman 7. I bring them the figure skates in a woman's 8. They tell me then that they want to see hockey skates. So I bring them the size they want in hockey skates. They talk to one of my co-workers while trying on the hockey skates telling them how I was assuming they wanted figure skates because they were a woman. They were mad at me because of it. How am I supposed to interpret this? They're assuming that me bringing out a figure skate is because they're a woman? Why is that offensive? Even if they thought it was because I thought they'd prefer it why does that upset them? They didn't give me a preference? Granted maybe I should have asked if they had one but still if I wasn't given one why would it upset them? Me giving you a skate doesn't mean I don't think you are able to use another skate, I'm trying to get you the size you want. They got what they came for anyways. People really just look for ways to be mad. No, I can't tell them you're old enough. So at the store one of the very first things the manager tells you when you're hired is that when selling anything that requires an ID check, you can't ask your co-workers hey he's old enough, right? If you're making the sale then you need to check an ID regardless of if other employees say the person is old enough. Basically because people can be lying and we've had workers who would sell to friends who weren't 21 yet. Last Friday night was one of the nights we had two employees rather than one, as I was training a new closer. One of our regulars came in while I was doing some cleaning tasks on the main floor. He a came over to me to ask me to tell my coworker he was old enough because he didn't have his ID, apparently he lost it back in September and was, as he put it, too lazy to get a new one. I knew he was old enough because I did an ID check on him every time he came the first few times I'd seen him back last year, but I told him I couldn't tell coworker if he was or wasn't over 21 due to store policy. I'm not the one making the sale and once she asks for an ID, she's not allowed to sell him beer until she sees it. He got upset, telling me to sell it to him then, I told him no, she is the one on cashier duty right now, not me, I wasn't going to undermine my coworker, and as politely as I could pointed out that he needed to get himself a new ID, we've employees come and go, and there is no guarantee the one working the register will know he's old enough. He complained some more but left. Hopefully this gets his as in gear to get a new ID, or he'll be struggling to get his daily dose of beer and smokes now that we've two new night employees starting next week. No, he's banned from Fortnite. Hey.
Talking to my boyfriend about future kids and how we want them to get into gaming as much as we both love it and the downsides that might come along with it when I remembered this story from my days working in a gaming shop. Decided let's post up here since my boyfriend was in fits of laughter hearing this. So, like I said, I worked in a gaming shop, selling consoles, games, console credit, etc., you get it. This was when Fortnite had become pretty huge, and a lot of news stories were coming out about kids running up parents' credit cards on hundreds worth of V-Bucks. So on this day a woman comes up to the counter with her son who must have been no older than nine I'd say. She's buying a PS top up and me, trying to make small talk, I say oh, let me guess, is this for V-Bucks by any chance? The kid's face kinda sours as his mum replies something along the lines of no, he's banned from Fortnite at which point she turns to her son and says tell the lassie what you did. Go on. Tell her. The kid pulls a face, makes a little whiny noise then runs off behind some shelves. Guys, this small child beat up his dad. His mum tells me the story about how they tried to call him down for dinner, but he wouldn't budge. His dad then walked into his room to tell him it's dinner time, put down the controller, but was once again ignored, so he switched off the console. Kid throws a fit and flies for his dad, throwing punches, kicking, biting, he's really not happy his game was cut short. Think the only words I could come up with at that point were oh before finishing up the transaction, wishing her a nice day, and then proceeding to run in the back and nearly pissing myself laughing.